underwater hockey. Yeah. Those two words aren't a thing I thought I would hear together. What is underwater hockey? Uh, underwater hockey is a game played on the bottom of a pool. It's six on six with players in snorkel gear fighting over a weighted puck with specialized one-handed sticks. And then they use teamwork and coordination that's all kind of preset because you can't talk to each other once you're underwater. And that below the surface nature of the game also means managing when and where you need to be taking a breath. When you're playing other sports, you can get yourself into the proper position to receive a pass. Here, you, uh, you might know where your teammate wants you to be, and you might want to be there for them, <laughs> but you might be looking down from the surface saying, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's a very common feeling in underwater hockey. Almost as common. That's another feeling. Do you guys ever like have those conversations? Like you're just like, oh, I, I play underwater hockey, and people are like, excuse me. All the time, oh. yeah. <laughs> it's always fun to see people's reactions. Like some people just clearly don't believe me at all. Some people are like, oh my gosh, that's so cool. I want to come try it. And at first glance, given Colorado's outdoor vibe, that incredulity doesn't feel misplaced. <laughs> yeah, definitely not. But as it turns out, our state, specifically Thornton, is home to the loftily named Battle at Altitude, a national competition going on for nearly 20 years now with teams from all over. It's very much a serious sport. And so, you know, we, we train, we, uh, we have our coaches, we're uh, heading down to Australia, Gold Coast, to compete in the World Championships this July. It's a serious, serious sport. And it's seriously growing. The Denver area underwater hockey club, where we are now, has actually doubled in size in the past several years, probably in part because of its accessibility. It's a very inclusive sport. Anyone who's young all the way up to, we have people who are in the 60s who play as well. So people can shine in different aspects. Uh, and so I really love how everyone is able to participate. So if you're looking for something different, maybe you're looking for this. It's cool to see more people come and try it. And I don't know, I, I have a lot of fun with it. And Thornton, John McMichael, News 5.